little trouble with her pie crust lately, so I thought it'd be a good idea if we went through the basics just one time. Um, and we're going to start with how we measure the flour, which is really important. Baking is a science, and you just put it in very loosely into your cup. Don't shake it. Don't try to tap it down at all. And straight across the top, one level measure. This crust is one and a quarter cups of flour and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. <clears throat> I use one stick of butter that I cut up and a quarter cup of ice water. And the water is important. The icier the ingredients, the better. I also refrigerate the crust for about a half an hour before I actually roll it out. So here we go. I've already cut up a stick of butter. In it goes. It's just slices, no big deal. Does it have to be melted? No, no, you want it cold, 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 cold. Cold is what holds it together. The warmer your ingredients, the harder it is to deal with your crust. So I set up the Cuisinart and I make a, it's, it, it's almost like a meal, like a cornmeal. <clears throat> you just do this a couple of times. Now I pulse it and I look at it and this is what it looks like. And you can have a couple of little chunks in there. It all melts. And then, the most important part is how much water you actually add. And be careful with this. So I'm going to take these ice cubes out now because it's good and cold. Because I have had ice cubes. Instead of using the on button, I'm going to use the pulse button. I drop in a few drops and I pulse it a couple of times. I do it again. Just a couple of times. This is like very light, light touch. This is just to kind of get it incorporated. What you kind don't want it to make an actual ball in the Cuisinart. What kind of blade are you using on your Cuisinart? I'm using the big manly uh, steel blade. <clears throat> it's just the regular blade. It's not the, the plastic. Uh, I'll show you as soon as I dump this out. Okay, so there's my quarter cup. Now if you come in close, you'll see doesn't look anything like a ball, but if I pick it up with a light touch, you can see it's just going to come right together in my hands. So I take this over here, just move this out of the way, and then just a little bit of flour on my board, just so it doesn't stick to the board while I play with it. And this is for one pie crust? This is one single pie crust. Usually what I do is I make a double. See, so I start, now you have to be careful because you can see the steel blade there. This is the really heavy, heavy blade. So there it is. What about those um, pastry blades that your Cuisinart comes with? I use that for cakes. Okay. That's like more for a batter. I've always done it fitted with the steel blade. So I just put that aside because that really is sharp. And then you just take this, and I hope you can see how lightly I'm touching my pie dough. Nice little ball here. And then I flatten it very gently with the heel of my hand. This already looks different than mine. Yeah. And I kind of try to make a nice shaped edge. I do it, I like it thin because I don't like to have to roll for very long. The more you handle it, the tougher it is. Do you powder your, or flour your hands? Um, no, not really, no, because it, I turn it over, as you can see. I do this, and then I, get, I, have, I have the flour on my hands. But, I mean, obviously, if it's sticking to you, flour will always make you unstick. And that's it. I'm going to wrap this in some plastic wrap and refrigerate it, and then we'll come back and we'll roll it out.